This is James Swan, United Different Warriors Society. Saturday, we're here at a rally uh, against um, Full Throttle for their encroachment of Bear Butte, a place we hold sacred. And you see in the background, you can see the, the beautiful live shows, which is very sacred. And you also hear the roar and the thunder of the bikes that are now on the northern end of uh, Bear Butte because of Full Throttle is bringing this extra traffic out here. Um, we're at the end of our rally. Most everybody's gone. Um, it's really windy here, so if you can't hear me really well, I apologize. I'm gonna um, scope this camp around a little bit. This is the main road to the rest of Bear Butte. When we come around here, we can see the, the campers on one side of the road, and right across the road, we see full throttle, full throttle, Uh, Jay Allen when he first started this whole mess uh, full throttle on its first day um, you can see it's getting pretty packed in there we heard uh, Ted Jones from the uh, Allen had said that he was I didn't know that Nugent had said and his uh, little whatever he wants to call it here. Um, this morning when we got here, there was a little fire here on the right side of the field. I don't know if that's Ballard's property or not, but uh, maybe he uh, needs to listen to the spirits of being chased around by fire. Here's the last of our group getting ready to head out. Y'all know the war pony. We have some people here getting ready to go home, but you look right around the corner here and you see Bear Butte. This is what it's all about here. This is what we're here to protect. This is our sacred site. This is where we go to pray. I talked to the, the people at Bear Butte Lodge this morning. They stayed the night last night. They said they could hear Michael Beller band and the music playing really loud, clear over to Bear Butte, Bear Butte uh, Lodge is right at the base of Bear Butte. Um, they said it was pretty loud. They could still hear it enough to, to make out the songs and know what they're playing. We've been watching this uh, road here in front and there's just lights and cars. For the first day, there's a lot of traffic. I can't imagine what the traffic up and down this road's gonna be in the next, uh, within the next week during the rally when he has all the concerts and and the band's playing. And our fear is that um, with Michael Ballard opening this place up here, all these empty spaces between here and the Buffalo Chip, there's going to have more venues and more venues, and stores and more stuff. And pretty soon, we're not going to have any peace to pray at our sacred Bear Butte. You know, uh, they have already stopped helicopters flying over it and the tourists and all this and that. But with these bikes and with these bands playing their their, their music, it's kind of hard to pray to your creator when you have to listen to this. Knowing that these guys are, are here to drink beer and smoke dope and, and party and crowds. And, you know, I mean, if they want to do that, that's their business. But they're doing it at our sacred site. All of this space between here and, and Westy here, they could have used any of that space for whatever. No, they have to encroach on our sacred place. This is why we are here. If there's, if we, every year we will be here, no matter what. Every year we will stand here. Every year we will protest. Every year, even if it's just me by myself standing here and protesting, I want them to know that we 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 do not support this. We we are not happy with this. We're against it. This isn't. Well, you know, this isn't what we want for our people to struggle enough with this alcohol and these drugs. And these guys bring all this stuff here and they promote it. And they glor glamorize it and they make it into something um, that attracts our youth and our youth thinks it's fun and, and cool to go get drunk and smoke dope and be stoned and party and have a good old time listening to loud music. We also have this, this uh, full throttle truck that keeps pulling in here next to us. I'll take a picture of it. I don't know what they're up to, but 
they're watching us doing something. They've been in and out of here driving next to us. I don't know if they're trying to intimidate us or not, but they're, we're not intimidated. Not to the slightest. They can do and say whatever they want. That don't bother me at all. But anyway, so I wanted you guys to know what we were doing today. This is what I did on my day off because this is important to us. I wish more of our people would come together and stand, not not for me, not for my group, or not for anybody's other group, but for the people, for the for our spirituality, for our sacredness. This the spirituality will hold us together as a people. We are struggling with the the drugs and the alcohol and the suicides because we've lost our spirituality. We've lost that contact and we need to get it back. And this is the stuff that the white man's brought and put in our face. Kind of like putting a carrot in front of a, the donkey's face to get him, you know, to, to trick him and to get him to change their ways. See that truck went? He could have went down that way and, and pulled in. He came from that way earlier. But he came down the back road. Really watch them. I don't know what they think they're going to do. But anyway, notice the stage right there in the middle. Ballard said he put that stage in a special spot so they couldn't hear the music at Bear Butte. Well, we already we already proved that's a lie because we can hear the music clear at Bear Butte. So that's what it is, folks. You know, another 10, 15, 20 years. All this empty space you see out here is going to be all full of bars and bikes and gas stations and houses and neighborhoods and pretty soon we're going to lose Bear Butte because we won't be able to go pray there we won't have no peace we've got to we've got to stop this how are we going to stop this we need to come together and put a buffer zone around Bear Butte at least at least for now a two-mile buffer zone, and anything within that buffer zone, as far as a business or a venue, needs to move, be moved out of that buffer zone area. I'm not talking about the ranches, the gravel pits, or the farms, or you know. I'm talking about the businesses, the event bar venues. They need to be away from Bear Butte. There's so much space out here. It, they, it needs to be away. We just don't need this here. So, with that, just say a lot of prayer. Burn some sage because this the sacred hoop is getting harder and harder to mend, and the, and the struggle is just going to get worse and worse and worse. We got to come together as a people. We have to find a way to work it out because these washishus, just like in the old days, they just come by the million. they need and they they don't care about nobody but their own self they only care about their greed and their money and their and their possessions and their materialistic things look at all them big fancy campers out there we got people living on the street struggling we got veterans struggling and dying on the street and you got people like this out here these big old fancy stuff, spending thousands of dollars getting drunk and partying and having the good old time you know and yet they're where that got to their waving the flag. I see a lot of American flags and a lot of uh, Confederate flags here. What kind of pride is that? Is that what your country stands for? Drinking and partying and biking and having a good old time and listening to Ted Nugent? Is that what America's all about? Well, if it is, I don't want no part of it. You can keep it. I don't want no part of it. That's not my way. That's not how I want to live. So, with that, I just want to wish everybody peace and Pray for the people. I mean, the people need a lot of prayers. Thank you. Bye.